Hey guys, it's Tyler, and today we are back in the B Laboratory Research Lab. I don't even know what to call this thing anymore. But today we are going to look at probably the most important video, in my opinion, uh, that will ever be put out in this series, because this is how to make your bee life so much easier. This is how to automate bees in Minecraft, and yeah, so there's two main ways of doing that. There's probably a couple more, but these are your main and easiest ways, and it's by using forestry and buildcraft, uh, and also applied logistics. So you want to start off, the most simple way is probably using forestry and buildcraft, uh, and that's going to need the buildcraft pipes. But you're also going to need a special forestry pipe, which is an apiarist pipe. This apiarist pipe is made from the diamond transport pipes, you're going to need some diamonds, that's fine, uh, and also this propolis stuff. And in the past episode I showed you propolis, uh, but I really didn't go far into it of how to get it. It is made from your... I don't remember what bees, uh, they're made from, uh, the stringy comb, which is from, uh, crap, uh, wow, this is bad, uh, diligent, that's right, and unweary, woo, yeah, okay, uh, but you can also get, since those are a little bit farther down into your, uh, breeding place, you can kind of get them from the tropical bees, and, uh, it's nighttime right now, let's just make it day. This guy will run and eventually will give you uh, Silky Comb. And these Silky Comb, when you put them into a centrifuge, has a chance of giving you this Silky Propolis, and it's a pretty good chance. Now the Silky Propolis, you put back into the centrifuge, and it'll go pretty fast, and there's a chance that you can get Propolis from that. So this is probably the best way to get uh, your Propolis early, because tropical bees are a hive bee, uh, found in rainforest that you can get right away and start running. Uh, it should be noted though that they are, uh, they do have the effect of poison. So if I go into uh, survival here, there is a high chance that in the next uh, 10 seconds or so I will be poisoned. Uh, and it's very annoying, I'm not gonna lie. So it's best to uh, make sure that you have these a little bit farther away from you uh, and only check on them every once in a while. So now that we have our propolis and we've made our apiarist pipe, let's look at this contraption over here and look at how you would actually really automate these. So I'm going to show you this and then I'm going to walk through how to build it. We have our normal apiary with our uh, Meadows B running in here right now. We have a wooden transport pipe with an autarkic gate. And if you do not know what an autarkic gate is, actually please let me know in the comments because I will make a video explaining how to use gates uh, in Minecraft because they are very useful especially with this uh, setup right here but I will do a little bit of explaining how to do it when I show you the setup for this we also then have a cobblestone or stone transport pipe if you have apiaries right next to each other with this same setup uh, you're probably going to want to do alternating uh, stone and cobblestone going down your line uh, but for right here I think I use cobblestone and then we also have our apiarist pipe, and this guy kind of looks like a diamond pipe, uh, which makes sense because you needed the diamond pipe in order to make it, but it has a color-coded system, and this is basically what it says. Wow, interesting interface, why is it so complicated? It's really not. It has all of your colors right here, this is your uh, white, and then you can kind of say what's going to go down each path. So green, for example, right now nothing's going on, we don't even have a green path on here, but we could say anything can go through green, any items can go through green, any bees, drones, princesses, queen, purebred, nocturnal, pure nocturnal, strong flyer, pure flyer, cave dweller, pure cave dweller, uh, gui.pipe.filter.natural, I don't know what that is, I'm sorry, uh, or it can be closed again. So basically what I have set up right here is that in the black is going to be any bees, in the uh, yellow is going to be any items. And that's really all you have to do. So let me show you walking through step by step how to do this. We're going to put down our apiary. We have our wooden transport pipe. And if you know Buildcraft well enough, you'll know that wooden uh, pipes pull items out of an inventory. Now, forestry is smart enough to know that a bee that's running right here is not actually a part of that inventory. So it's not going to try to pull out this guy, it's only going to pull out stuff that's over here, which is going to be your bees that come out after you're finished breeding, as well as any combs. So then we can put our autarkic gate on here, and the autarkic gate is basically just going to say, uh, when there are items in the inventory, 
uh, to do an energy pulse. And the energy pulse basically is saying, take items out of this inventory uh, until it is empty because we want all items in the inventory. You could also do uh, even redstone signal off and do this because it's not going to pull out anything in here. Uh, but I would highly recommend doing, uh, yeah, it also has interfaces for drones and stuff, but we're not worried about that. We're just going to do items in inventory, energy pulse. So then that's going to send items out. We're going to send them right into this pipe and then into our apiaris pipe. Now, if we had another guy right here, let's just say we did, we'll put our, uh, our target gate on here. Let's do boom, boom. And then our, that, uh, we're going to want a different one. Let's do uh, pipe, let's grab a stone, or cobblestone, that's a stone one. Okay, cobblestone, those won't connect now, perfect. And then we'll do that. So now we're saying that uh, we want probably still bees to go into the black because, well, that's going into the apiary. So any bees are going to go into the black, but then we also want all of our items to go down the yellow. And then here we also want to say, all items go down yellow, all bees go black. And then this is gonna basically, whenever these are done, it's gonna pump out the uh, things. If there's any bees, they're going back in. If there's any items, they're gonna go down here into this chest. From here, you can then create some kind of system in order to send the uh, combs to a centrifuge or stuff like that. But I'm not too worried about that. I just wanna know how to make sure that these keep on running over and over and over again. And eventually, when the bees can't fit in here, they are going to, I think, travel down this way. Uh, don't count me on that one. I never automate bees this way. I just wanted to show you guys this. I usually automate them using Applied Energistics, which is what I'm going to show you in a sec. Uh, but yeah, this is basically the simplest way to automate bees using forestry and buildcraft. And I'm going to wait until this guy is finished, just so you can see uh, how exactly that works. But I will be right back. Okay, our bee is about to die, so he should be coming out shortly. And uh, as soon as he dies, the items are going to be pumped out, so we're going to want to get out of this inventory as fast as possible just to see them go. And there they go. So we have three bees, and then they're going to go straight into our apiaris pipe, and that should send them down. Okay, they're going to go straight back into breeding again. We didn't get any combs that time, that's perfectly fine, but the combs will be pulled out as soon as they are uh, put into our apiary. So that's one way, let's look at this way. For those of you who don't know Applied Energistics, uh, I highly recommend looking at another channel for a tutorial on it. Uh, the tutorial I posted a while back is not that great, but uh, you can use it, it'll show you the basics. Uh, but basically what we have set up here, we have an energy cell just giving some energy. This guy won't run out anytime soon. And it's just giving some energy to a centrifuge uh, and an ME controller. And the controller is basically your uh, brain of the system right here. Next to it, we have a disk drive just so it can store some items. Uh, nothing too fancy here. And then we also have our access terminal where we can put stuff in and take stuff out. Perfect. Now we have some apiary set up here. How are we going to automate this? Eh, it's actually pretty easy. Let's grab some, uh, I don't have any ME cable on me, how could I forget that? ME cable is your basic cable of your system, which is perfectly fine. Let's grab that, and we'll kind of just bring a little bit of cable over to here. Now these import and export buses are your basic put items in, take items out, uh, apply energistics tools. And the export will take things out of your uh, system, and the import will put things into your system. So basically what, what, what we want to say is to take items from our system and export them into these apiaries. And then we also want to take any items in the apiaries and import them into our system. And then we can just kind of connect them with a cable. This looks so complicated. Why is that? It's really not. Let's just go into our ME uh, Precision Export, and this is going to tell us what kind of bees we want to put in here. The Precision is going to make sure that it does exactly that bee type each time. So let's grab a uh, Forest Drone and a Forest Princess, as well as a Meadows Drone and a Meadows Princess. So let's say that the Meadows Princess and Meadows Drone are going into this guy and the forest princess and the forest drone are going into that guy. As soon as we put these in here, they're gonna get pumped right out and straight into our apiaries. 
which is exactly what we wanted, that's perfect. But you have to make sure that you're using the ME Precision export. Because if you were to use the fuzzy export, uh, let's grab a fuzzy, uh, we're gonna say that this one is going to be fuzzy, I didn't realize I had one on me. But let's say that uh, for this one we want a Meadows Princess and Meadows Drone to go into it. And uh, let's say we have some Ferris bees in our network. The fuzzy is going to ignore that Meadows, uh, eh, maybe not. Never mind. I guess not. I guess the fuzzy's smart enough here. Maybe. No? 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 There we go. Yeah, that, you gotta be careful because the match any will put them in there. So I was kinda right. What the hell are you doing, sheep? Get out of here. Uh, so yeah, you want to make sure that you're using the precision export so that it will put in exactly the bee that you want to put in. Now I'm going to show you real quick just how to kind of automate your production line even more. We have our things going here, we have our uh, imports putting stuff back into the system, but what are we going to do with honeycombs and stuff? Well that's why I have our centrifuge right here because we can automate this as well and here we're going to want to do the fuzzy. Because the fuzzy is going to say, if we look at comb, uh, all of these have a data value after their original ID value. So this is, you know, 8776. This is 8776 colon 1. And this is what we want to deal with. Because that colon 1, this fuzzy is going to say, uh, that's the same as this. So we can say, uh, let's grab a honeycomb and put it in there as well as, we probably don't even need to do that, but as well as a barren comb, because that will cover all these, and this will cover all of these. So now that we have those in there, whenever there's a comb produced in here, whether it be a barren or a honey, it's going to automatically send it over to our centrifuge in order to be processed and uh, filled up. And then to get stuff back out of the centrifuge, we can just, once again, put a basic ME import, and then pump it right back into the system. This may not look the best, uh, but I guarantee you can hide it or arrange it in some way to get it perfectly set up. But this is your uh, probably easiest way uh, to automate your bees because this isn't going to run into a whole lot of issues over time. This, you got to deal with diamond pipes and uh, too many materials in my opinion. This is so much easier and it's a lot cooler in my opinion, <laughs> but hey, that's just me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is how to automate bees in Minecraft. Next episode, we're going to look at getting the ultimate production out of our bees by making uh, frames and putting those frames into our apiaries in order to speed up the production and or speed up the life uh, of the bee as well as... Uh, the mutation chances, and all kinds of cool stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!